Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey guys, I just wanted to get on here really, really quick for a few moments. And I'll just talk to y'all about a few things that's been on my heart. Hey, that love, heaven, fan. Oh, everybody just come on in. I just wanted to talk about a few things that's been weighing on my heart that I thought I'd get on here, sure. Hey, T. Nola. Uh, Dana, I love you too. I love you too, Jefferson. Hey, y'all, come on in. I'm, I'm, I'm very emotional, but I just want to share a few things. And this time, I said I want to give y'all opportunity to share a few things too. Hey, friend, girlfriend, I got my tickets for Charlotte. It's gonna be a good time. It's gonna be a good time. Hey, oh, J, JBM Forty. I'm like, hey, baby, a lady of laughter. I'll take that, Adrian. Hey, from Birmingham. Y'all, come on in. This is very informal. You don't have to do your choir member number. Hey, darling. You have to do your choir member number or anything like that. I just wanted to ask y'all a question. But before I do, I want to share a few dates with you. And then we're going to get into the topic that's weighing on me. That's got me up, up late. I wanted to let y'all know this Saturday and Sunday. Is the volume good? First off, is the volume good? Can y'all hear? Is the volume good? Tiffany, because I miss seeing you. I miss seeing me, too. I do. I, uh, I just been kind of laying low. I've been having so much going on. Uh, just so many ugly people out in the world, facially. Facially and uh, fashionably. And so, I've been, I just, that's been bringing me down. It just kind of make me stay inside more and, you know, stay more to myself and stuff like that. But I want to let y'all know, Saturday and Sunday, I'm going to be in St. Louis. I'm bringing Ruby. Uh, we'll be in St. Louis, guys. There's a fruit tickets left. Oh, uh, October 6th, we're going to be in Dallas. Oh, uh, October 24th, we'll be in Jacksonville, Florida. Jacksonville, Florida, we'll be there. Uh, 1110, we'll be in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Oh, uh, 1117, we'll be in Charlotte, North Carolina. And then 1124, we'll be in Austin, Texas, guys. So, y'all go ahead and get y'all tickets. But I'm going to give y'all uh, an opportunity today. I'm doing something different. It's late night. I'll give y'all an opportunity to share what be bothering y'all to it. Just, just recently, 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 recently. I feel like people that bring their dog in public want attention. And I was wondering if it's just me. Do y'all believe that? Like, you got to bring this little shedding piece of, piece of animal everywhere you go because you need attention. You need somebody saying, oh, your little dog so cute. Or what's his name? Or, and stuff like that. Do y'all feel like people like that need attention? Because that's what I'm feeling. Because why is your dog in the restaurant? That's what's been keeping me up. I, it's just been happening more and more and more and more. Y'all dogs get bigger and bigger and bigger in the airport. You need emotional support like that. You need to emotionally support your tail at home. You need to stay at home. You don't need to even be out in society because the dog can't help you emotionally. He can't give you no words. Words of encouragement. He can't help you through. If you if you up here, he can't bring you down by just petting him. Them dogs need to stay at home. You want attention. You want attention. Your outfit ain't popping enough. You, you ain't cute enough. You got to have a dog with you everywhere you go. And that's bothering me. That's bothering me. He licking off your spoon and, and you eating it and they washing the spoon. Let him, and, and So we can eat off of it. I'm sick and tired of it. I'm sick and tired. And I'm glad. I'm glad Publix got that new rule. Got that new rule saying y'all can't bring y'all animals unless it's a service animal. And so I want to ask anybody else. <laughs> oh, they bother me. For real. I was I was about to get in my bed and I said, let me see if, if anybody else bothered by that or if it's just me. And another thing they be bothering me, then I'm gonna let y'all sure. People that be talking on their phone in public, do they bother y'all? Like if you on FaceTime and then they just talking and yeah, Sheila, and he told me, he said, they get like this. And he said. Girl, I know you lying. And I said, boy, I know you. They don't never be talking about nothing. Don't never be talking about nothing. Do that by her the hell is it just me? Because I'm trying to see if I'm just at a point where everything bothers me. 
I'm trying to test the waters and see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blueberry, but uh, blue butterfly say yeah. They bother me. Yeah. Rain said, "Don't be talking about me, cause you out of order." I really want to talk. The subject I want to talk about, guys, and this is where I'm gonna bring y'all in. Is how do you know if somebody don't have good home training? How do you know if somebody don't have good home training? Okay. Drop them right now. And if y'all want to come in and you want to share how you know if somebody have good home training, I guess y'all can kind of request it and I can see if oh, I can let y'all on, on here because I don't really know how to do that. But we can see if we can let them, if, if I can let y'all in and you can share how you know if somebody don't have good home training. And I can say... I'm going to say bringing dogs in public. You don't have good home training because it's an animal. Y'all love to holler about that's your family. Your mama didn't have that dog. That ain't your brother. That ain't your brother. You didn't have that dog at the, at the veterinarian hospital. That ain't your child. That ain't your child. You ain't that dog mama. Profanity in public. Okay, Joanne. Profanity in public. Demetra said disrespectful. Mm-hmm. They sneeze and don't say, excuse me, that's right. And then the people that be walking, you walking this way and then y'all walking this way with, this, at the airport, in the grocery store, walk on your side. Walk on your side because if you get slapped, that's going to be who? That's going to be your fault. That's going to be fault. That's going to be your fault. Okay? Okay? And luxury baby say, boss, is my son. And see, I'm, I'm really starting to, starting to believe it's, it's getting, getting into that lane of mental illness. Mental illness. And we really need to redo that list because there's a lot of things that will make the, the, the mental illness list. And I'm, I'm going to come up with my own mental illness list. That's right, bonnets in, bonnets in public. Not washing their hands before they get into their food. Mm -hmm. Going to the refrigerator without asking or washing their hands. Blowing their nose in the public. That's it. That's it, public drunkenness. Yep. Y'all put it in there. People bump into you and fail to say excuse because it don't take long. That's quick. That's quick. Eating in bed. That's your business. That's your business. You can eat in your bed at, at where? At your house. You can eat in, eat in your bed at your house. Digging in their nose and in their behind. That's it. That's it. That's it, elite brood of queen. That's it. In the beginning, say dust the shoes. <sighs> You ain't got to wear a dirty pair. Wear your good pair. If, even if they your church shoes, wear them, wear them to school. Wear what you got. Wear your best. Wear your best. Not washing your hands after you use the restroom. Oh, funky punks. That's what somebody just, that's what one, one fit A said. Wearing pajamas in public. That's a fact because they let me know what you didn't wash your tail if you got some pajamas on you can't tell me you wash your tail and put on a fresh pair of pajamas you slept in there for two days and then wash that tail that tail is ripe i know it is i know it is i know it is stinking banking i know it's stinking and i can bank on it that's what stinking banking mm-hmm walking around musty in the morning because how you do that how you musty in the morning and in the winter time that's the part that had me just kind of have my mind in a bottle. It put my mind in a bottle and I be in the spirit of confusion. Because how you musty in the morning? In the morning. That mean you what? You was wrestling. You worked. You had a fight in your sleep and then get up and what? Shower. That's why you musty like that. That's why you musty like that. Eyelashes just dangling. That mean you, yeah. These right here. When they be having these on. Eyelashes too big for your face. You can't even see these right here. That's all you see. Can't even see no other facial feature. That's them lashes. That's it right there. That's it. That's it. You blinding yourself. That's it. That's it. Y'all just go ahead and share because there's so many things. In the, and what I realized is a lot of people don't even know that they out of order because they mama was out of order they mama was out of order they daddy was out of order they grandmama was out of order she was all in public with her boobs boobs tucked 
belt in her dress, all in her belt. And they thought that that was all right. That's not appropriate. Your grandmama, your nana should have went in there and got a brown on. Her boob was down to her knees. She should have had a brown on. But instead, she was in the grocery store like this, and you thought that was regular. You thought that was regular. She got a boob up her and a boob down here. You thought that was normal. That's not normal. You need therapy. You need therapy because she, your nana was out of order. Your Gigi was out of order. Your granny was out of order. She was lazy and she was out of order and she probably should have been showering because if she didn't have no brown, she probably wasn't showering. Just nasty. Just nasty and was wearing that uh, house dress. Wore that to the grocery store with y'all. With no underwear on. Stinking and free. Stinking and free. And you need help. You need therapy. A lot of y'all suffering from PTSD because of what your nana did. What your mama did. Who your mama was. Who your daddy was. Some of y'all favorite color red because your daddy was a red flag. Because your mama was a red flag. And that's what I'm discovering. So look through these comments. And see what's out of order. Yeah, somebody said me, my stuff probably had an odor. Probably did. Probably did. Probably did. Me, my, now I'm a GG, whatever you call us. Stinking and banking. That's what we that's what we saying now. You can bank on it. She was stinking. And y'all think people haven't clumped up the over. Y'all think that's normal. That's not normal. That's not normal. That's not normal. Have a clump for the over. That means you done been musty. Never washed up under your arms. And what you do, pack some more deodorant up under there and it's balling up. It's balling up now. Your, your, arm, your, uh, your, your deodorant is matted up now. And you probably still musty with clumps of deodorant. And that is, that is a uh, trauma. Trump, you ever hug somebody and they musk out on your own? And you had to go and take another bath because they, they put that musk on you? That's trauma. That's trauma. Deodorant balls, that's right, luxury babes. That's right, deodorant balls. That's not normal. That's not normal. Somebody said, oh, you talking about that old school tussie. Show lamb. Show lamb. And that, that, new, that new deodorant ball up on you too now. I'm telling you what I know. I'm telling you what I know. I'm not just talking for my health and for my strength. I'm happy so bad somebody can get free. Somebody can get free. Okay? Wash your tail. Wash up underneath your arms. Okay? And y'all want to share some other things that that let you know that somebody ain't had good home training. Share that because people don't know. People don't know this. I didn't know that. Talking on the speakerphone was ghetto. Very. It's very. Very ignorant. Very ignorant. Very ignorant. Okay? That's right. Somebody said scrub. That's right. Scrub. Nasty. And then you got, it's so much, but I just wanted to ask y'all what y'all thoughts were. And to let y'all know that I love y'all. And to tell y'all to vote. Ugly edges look like curtains and swoop. That's right. Cause why, why your, why, why is your swoop this big? And then you got one that's coming that, that make that turn like that and go back the other way. You out of order. You out of order. Okay? And people with long nails ain't eating no better food. They got no long nails. Because what it, that means, you done cl clunch your tail. You done clunch, so-called try to attempt to clean your tail. And then you in there cooking food now. You in there cutting up food. And you probably got some remnants. Some doodle -doo remnants on your nail, up underneath your nail. The remnants of the doodle -doo up underneath your nail. Remnants. Remnants. Okay, so I'm like, don't you got to worry about me eating nothing you cooking? You say, well, I clean, I clean my nails. No, you don't. You barely wash your hands. You barely wash your hands. You ain't, you, you, you ain't cleaning your nails extra. Extra. That's right. 
You got long nails, don't worry about me. Worry about yourself, worry about your health. You wonder why your children have got respiratory infection called rim knots is in their chest. Rim knots is in their chest. That's right, doodle -doo particles. The men of computers say doodle -doo particles, that's it. The crumbs is in your nail. The remnants is in your nail. When your nails be this long. Your nails this long. It's remnants. Okay? Your children got pink eye because of remnants. Because of remnants. Your children got an ear infection. Why? Because of remnants. Turn to your neighbor and say because of remnants. That's, <laughs> that's right, DJ. 1922 remnants. That's right, Jackson via Nails. Cause of remnants. Long nail mean no thank you. That tail ain't clean. It's going to have a little remnant of that, that left over in there because you can't really get in there like you need to. And them nails got remnants in there. So they keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Okay? But uh, I wanted to tell y'all I love y'all. <laughs> I'm trying to help people. Y'all telling me to stop. I'm helping people. I'm trying to be a good person. But if you got them remnants, you got remnants, people are sick around you. Your children are always running because remnants is probably sitting at the top of their head. Remnants at the top of their head. Okay? Keep that in mind. That's right. XC8200, that's right. Remnants. And those of y'all that just joined me because I'm getting ready to let y'all go. <laughs> but type all the things that's out of order for y'all. Saturday and Sunday we'll be in St. Louis, guys. It's going to be a good time. Me and Ruby. Uh, October 6th we'll be in Dallas, Texas. Uh, October 24th, Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, November 10th, Tech Up. Uh, November 10th, Tulsa, Oklahoma. November 17th, Charlotte. And then November 11th. No, November 24th, Austin, Texas, guys. And we are we are praying for all of the people that's in the hurricane. Because that, that ain't no, that ain't nothing to play with. That ain't nothing to play with. We, we are lifting all y'all now. Everybody that, that's got a, a weather advisory for Hurricane Helen, we send her back on the hill so she can get the hell on. Helen, you can get to hell on, lady. Good folks, so long for they don't tell. Ain't nobody house gonna be destroyed. Ain't no lives gonna be lost. None of that. Helen can get on. We sending you back, back right now, Helen. From which you have come, you twirl your tail back on the way you came from. Twirl your tail on back there, cause we don't need you here messing up nothing. Leave them folk alone, so they can live. They light Helen out of order. Hurricane Helen, you out of order. You out of order. You take your tail on back. Take your wet, bald-headed, bad bill self. Twirl yourself back to where you come from, Helen. Right now, twirl yourself back. Flood yourself on back to where you come from. The pits of hell. We sending Helen back right now. Guys, y'all send some water right now in the comments and some prayer hands for Helen so she can get the hell out and we ain't got to worry about her no more. These people going to be safe. People going to be able to catch their flight. People going to be able to get back home and get back to living their life. Because Helen is going to go on. She's going to go on about her business because we don't have time. We don't have the time. We don't have the uh, flood insurance. We don't got none of that. Go on, Helen. About your business. Go on about your business. And we lifting y'all up right now because we love you. And we don't have time. That's right, it's SJ9. That's <laughs> Send them both back. That's right. That's right. And I love y'all and y'all be good. That's right. I miss y'all. I'll be seeing y'all soon, okay? And remember, y'all go vote. That's right. Go vote. I love y'all. Be good. Cut your nails and remember, if somebody got long nails, they got what? Remnants. They got remnants. They got remnants, okay? Uh-oh, I don't know how to cut this off. <laughs>